Now, when I look at the Star Wars franchise, to me, the true face of the Skywalker saga is, of course, Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams is currently very hard at work during post-production of this movie. A lot of things are really happening for Episode 9 as we go throughout the months until we get closer to Star Wars Celebration and even more important to the actual release date of this movie. Movie. And a lot of people are very curious about exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to handle some of the cameos in this film. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now one of which has all to do with the character of Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. Now specifically what's really in intriguing for sure is that it's described that one of the character designs of Anakin Skywalker consists of Anakin in a black cloak with white sleeves. It's described that his hair is shorter and that he has facial scars on the right portion of his face. Additionally, it's said that one of the eyes appear to glow in a blue hue. The character design is described as hybrid phase one for Anakin Skywalker. It's also said that one of the sculptures developed for Anakin consisted of his face with the hood over his head, still with shorter hair, however with the bottom portion of Vader's mask covering the bottom half of Anakin's face, to which it's described as hybrid ghost phase 2. It's said that one of the Anakin hybrid phases will be used for a scene that takes place in a dark castle. Now first things first, I want to talk about one of the hybrid force ghost phases being used for the dark castle scene in episode 9 and as to why I believe that this is going to be the actual Darth Vader fortress on Mustafar in episode 9. So one thing is for certain in this movie is that JJ is taking a lot of concepts from episode 7 and implementing all of that into episode 9 which honestly I think is a good and a healthy thing for Star Wars because I don't know if you guys own the art book of The Force Awakens, but there's a lot of great things in there that would have made the sequel trilogy feel a whole lot more Star Wars-y, if you will, you know, if that makes sense. So going into episode 9, these two different character designs of Anakin Skywalker, I want to go over the first one, Hybrid Phase 1. And now the Hybrid Phase 1 is said to actually consist of Anakin Skywalker with shorter hair, with an actual black cloak and white sleeves, with a blue glowing eye. Now it sounds somewhat true to what we got in the art book of The Force Awakens, however different. In the art book, you know, pretty much every single phase of the Force Ghost, or the hybrid Force Ghost, I should say, had a hood over his head, where in this scenario, you actually are getting a glimpse of him without the hood over his head, where he's got shorter hair, the glowing blue eye, and some facial scars on the right portion of his face. Now, like I say, the hybrid Force Ghost is something very intriguing indeed. And one of the guys that was actually attached to The Force Awakens described it like this, where if you light a actual fire or if you light a candle, it casts a shadow. So the light always casts a shadow of the dark side, essentially, is what they are saying. And that's the whole entire idea of the hybrid Force Ghost, which I believe only dark side users can see that version or when a light side user is going through any form of conflict, which would also explain as to why Ray in some of the concept art descriptions before in the past was actually seeing the hybrid Force Ghost of Anakin Skywalker. Now the second phase that I want to go over is the sculpture of Anakin Skywalker consisted of, of course, his face with the hood over his head, also with the shorter hair. However, the bottom portion of his face is the breathing part of Darth Vader's mask. So you can only imagine how freaky that would look on the big screen if that one actually does come into fruition for episode 9. Now, like I say, guys, I am all up for dark elements in a Star Wars movie. It actually has been said before in the past that Episode 9 is going to be darker than that of The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens combined. That's exactly what J.J. Abrams is aiming to do in this movie. So when I look at the character of Anakin Skywalker, how poetic would it really be if somehow, some way, the light side version of him is the one to bring balance to the Force in Episode 9? That would be the most poetic thing to do in the Skywalker saga, in my own opinion. Now, when we're looking at J.J. Abrams, we do know that he is a huge fan of Anakin Skywalker. I don't know if you guys knew this, but 
He loves the character of Anakin, and, you know, just like with Ryan Johnson, how he's a huge fan of Yoda, he incorporated Yoda into that movie, now J.J. Abrams is trying to do his own thing with this film that's really going to really raise the bar for a Star Wars film and for a Skywalker saga movie entirely. So these two different phases, Hybrid Phase 1 and Hybrid Phase 2, they sound very intriguing indeed, and I'm really, really interested to see exactly how a hybrid Force ghost is going to be used. AJ, you know, he loves to include dark elements in a Star Wars film. A great example of this was, you know, the discussion between both Snoke and Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren killing his own father, Han Solo, and Rey even going into the basement of the Takadana Castle, hearing the screams of her younger self. It was quite horrific, right? Like something out of a horror movie. So you can see what J.J. Abrams likes to do in the Star Wars films and what he's going to be doing once again and for the last time, at least in the Skywalker saga, with Episode 9. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.